I'm going to call the special meeting to order for the next county commissioners. I also like to call the special joint meeting of the Edgecombe County Board of Commissioners to order. <laughs> okay, at this time we'll have invocation uh, by Commissioner Wells. Let's pray. Our Father, we come to you again today with the same problem, but God, we hope with results. God, we just pray that this meeting to be in the way that you would have it to be, God, and that we, we threw the children have won, God, that they will know where they're going to school and when they're going to school. Just ask you to be with each board, Lord, as we look at the things. Sometimes we have to give and sometimes we have to take. And today is the day that we need to come together to decide what we're going to do and let's put this thing to bed. Be with each family that's represented, Lord, and keep them close to you. In your blessed name I pray. Amen. 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 Um, thank you, Commissioner Webb. Now, we have some opening remarks from the chairman of the East Coast County Board. Uh, thank you, Commissioner Belfield. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. I believe that the reason that we're here today is uh, on May 13th, I did send a letter to the chairman and the Nice County Commissioners on behalf of our board to request a meeting to consider uh, a proposal uh, consider some items that would, we think that would resolve the, the issue. And also as a result of that letter and upon further review, there were some, some issues with some of the language. And on May 18th, uh, we, did, we sent another letter out to the commissioners correcting that language. It was making a commitment to, uh, that we thought was reasonable uh, to solve the proposed proposed split of the school system by the Nash County Commissioners. I'm going to ask our county manager, Mr. Eric Evans, to, to they have been, the, the, the areas that we, that we were committed to are, are stated in the letters that we sent to the Board of Commissioners. I'm going to ask Mr. Evans to further explain that. Go ahead, Mr. Evans. Yes, sir, Mr. Chair. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have to say good afternoon to everyone. I've been asked to speak on behalf of the Edgecombe County Board of Commissioners to describe the points of their offer to a settled agreement that will keep Nash Rocky Mount school system intact. As you know, our board strongly opposes a split. Therefore, it is our desire to seek a negotiated compromise with Nash County to avoid such an action. Edgecombe County Commissioners have made clear in multiple meetings their determination to keep Nash Rocky Mount School District as it currently exists and to avoid the disruption it would cause for those children and families. In that effort, our board has committed to the following. Edgecombe County Commissioners are committed to ensuring our fair share of capital costs is provided. They have committed to paying our proportionate share of capital funding annually based on the percentage of Edgecombe County residents attending the Nash Rocky Mount School System. We are prepared to do so beginning immediately. Edgecombe County agrees to a withdrawal. Secondly, Edgecombe County agrees to a withdrawal of the participation of Rocky Mount in covering the gap between Edgecombe's and Nash's uh, current expense appropriation to begin in five years, which would be school year 2020 to 2021. We agree to pay the differential if our current expense appropriation is lower than that of Nash County and acknowledge that the amount to be paid will be based on appropriations and student enrollment numbers in uh, year four, which would be 2019-2020. Edgecombe County Commissioners recognize the importance of having good schools in both counties, and we are committed to working with the Nash County Commissioners and both school boards to ensure quality education for all our children. We hope that your board will see the commitment and sacrifice we're willing to make in order to avoid a split of the Nash Rocky Mount school system. We think this offer addresses the points of contention you have raised over the school system and we will, ac and will accomplish uh, what you have publicly stated you hope to happen, which is to keep the school system intact. If your board is in agreement, then we stand ready to work out the details and to work with the appropriate legislative delegate or delegates to assist with drafting or amending a bill to codify our settlement. Thank you. That's kind of what a commission is. That is our proposal to uh, to resolve what you have considered an issue. 
Okay, I was listening. Does your proposal say that you would start after five years? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what our proposal says. Yeah, our proposal says that, that Rock them out after four years. I'm sorry. After, after four years. On the fifth year. On the fifth year. Our proposal says we'll start on the fifth year. So we'll start the gap payment. What is, what is normally called the gap payment? Okay, well, we, our board is developer, and let me uh, present it and develop uh, a proposed agreement. And this, this proposed agreement, this agreement is made and, and entered into the, uh, entered into on the 23rd of May 2016 by and between the Nash County Board of Commissioners. This is proposed now. Commissioners and the Edgecombe County Board of Commissioners. The purpose of the agreement is to set forth the terms of an agreement. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I should have asked. We have not seen that. Yeah, but. Okay, you may follow along with me, and I'll start over. This is a proposed. This agreement is made and entered into the 23rd of uh, May 2016 by and between the Nash County Board of Commissioners and the Edgecombe County Board of Commissioners. The purpose of this agreement is to set forth the terms of an agreement that has been mutually agreed upon by the uh, county boards related to the proposed changes to SB Senate Bill 612, originally enacted by the North Carolina legislature in uh, 1991, merging the Nash County Administrative Unit and the City of Rocky Mount Administrative Unit into a single school administrative unit known as the Nash Rocky Mount administrative unit as of July 1, 1992. It is duly acknowledged and agreed by both counties that certain changes are needed to the original legislation after almost 24 years. The parties hereby agree as follows. Beginning with physical year 2017-18, it is agreed that the amount of current expenditure differential, differential in funding between Nash and Edgecombe counties that has been provided by the city of Rocky Mount to the school unit on behalf of the students residing in Edgecombe County as set forth in uh, section 21 of SB 612 shall be reduced by 25% each year, such as after the 2021 fiscal year, the city of Rocky Mount will no longer provide any current expenditure to a differential uh, funding to the school unit. Two, beginning with fiscal year 2022, the Edgecombe County Commission shall appropriate the uh, current per pupil expenditure for students in the school unit residing in Edgecombe County in, in the same annual amount as the current per pupil expenditures as determined and appropriated by the Nash County Board of Commissioners. Edgecombe County Commissioners hereby agree to fund all new capital expenditures, including new schools, additions, renovations, existing and future debt service, all yearly capital outlay, and all other capital expenditures of the school unit in a percentage that is equal to the percentage of students residing in Edgecombe County that attend the school unit. For example, 
if 11% of the students that attend the uh, school unit, based on previous year's average daily membership, as certified by the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction, resides in the Edgecombe County, then the Edgecombe County Commissioner shall be responsible for funding of 11% of all capital expenses as defined above by the school unit, irresponsible of where the capital expense is incurred. In addition, all capital funds, including statewide or local bonds, are noted uh, appropriations from the state or federal government talking about lottery proceeds, sales tax, profits from ABC stores, fines, and forfeitures coming into the possession of Edgecombe County for capital school funding shall be paid to the school unit in accordance with section 20 of SB uh, 612. Five, the school unit shall be prohibited from filing any legal action under NCGS 115C-421, 115C-431, or 115C-432, challenging the su sufficiency of funds appropriated by the Nash or Edgecombe County Boards of Commissions to the local expense fund, the capital outlay fund, or both. Six, the school unit will continue to retain the same geographical boundaries as established in July 1, 1992. Seven, upon the effective date of the uh, new legislation amending SB 612, the name of the school unit shall become Nash School Administrative Unit. And then it goes on to say this agreement has been approved by a majority vote of both boards of commissioners at a joint meeting of uh, the respective boards and shall be submitted to the North Carolina General Assembly to amend 1991 session law bill 391 SB 612 to be effective on July 1, 11, 16. Uh, now we open for discussion. Well, Mr. Bellfield, I believe that um, this is the first time that uh, we've seen this, and uh, I think Nash County was sent our proposal. Uh, you had time to at least look over our proposal, and you're giving us a legal document that you're expecting. Nobody's read it and asking us to approve it. Uh, our attorneys have not had an opportunity to review it. And while I see it incorporates some of the language that you've talked about, I don't even think it's, I could ask our board to approve something that they have not read. And uh, we certainly gave you and your board the courtesy of, of our proposal and I don't know if this is your response to it, but uh, we, 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 we have proposed, and along with, I believe that there was a meeting uh, with the legislative rules chair in terms of the things that we had proposed. And I'm understanding that some of the language, up, some of the conversation up there, that we have presented a reasonable proposal to resolve these issues. And some of the things that you are proposing here appear to be our school boards have not been involved. And uh, so I'm not going to ask my board to address a legal document that our attorneys have not reviewed. And, but we still believe that what we have offered to resolve this issue is a reasonable one. So this is not a document that without the consult of our attorney that I think that we can we can address because it's a legal document. 
And, and if our attorney had had an opportunity. It's, it's not legal not in, until it's signed. Well, we can't vote on it until we can't vote on something that we have not read on. I don't think that we can, and you ask, you're bringing us a document and asking us to agree on something. And have you read this? No, sir. None of us have had it's, an opportunity. It's, to read. it's a proposed. Well, we can't proposal. even, we can't even, uh, we can't even agree to a, a proposal, something that this requires study. And some of the things that we don't have, we don't understand that we need advice and consult from our attorneys and from our school officials in terms of what some of this means. Uh, we've been right open with what we have asked you, you and your board to do, and this comes as uh, as without giving us any notice of, of, of uh, if it had been sent to us and we had looked at it, I think we'd be, in our, we'd be in a position to respond to it. We're not in a position to respond to an agreement and, and uh, that we have not seen. But you have seen that, which we, I sent two letters. Yeah, I got it. Those things that, yeah, I got it Friday. Yeah. Well, this was sent out, the quote, this was sent out. I sent two letters. I sent the 13th and the 18th. Yeah, I'm talking about the last one and we heard you had to change this. Well, it was clarifying the language in terms of making it more specific and what we said we would do rather than leaving it open an open possibility. And, and, and again, our proposal is the Escom County Commissions are committed to ensuring our fair share of capital costs is provided. We are committed to paying our proportionate share of capital funding annually. It's going to also willing to commit to withdrawal of the participation from Rock Mile over the next five years. It's going to kind of rec commission recognized the importance of having good schools in both counties, and we co we're committed to working with the Nash County Commissioners. And, and we, we have offered what we consider to be reasonable, and, and <coughs> I, it, we don't have time. We don't have time. This board does not have time at this meeting, that would be without a consult of our attorney and uh, in, 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 in agreeing to agreement. But I think we, we did come here with the uh, open to express uh, uh, what we had offered and as our uh, a way of resolving this issue. And, but this is blindsided. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Evans has tried to uh, has, has communicated, not tried to, but he's communicated trying to get this document of several cents last Wednesday or Thursday, Friday. Friday, ever since Friday. And he's not been successful. We've had no no access whatsoever to this. It's like like we're still playing games. We get, we make all of our documents available to you, and you come in here and hit us with this without us even having a chance to see it. How are we going to decide today or any time without having a formal meeting or whether we should uh, drop Rocky Mountain out of the, the name of the school system, for example. That's kind of a big issue. And that's also new. That's brand new. Brand Nobody's new. ever mentioned that before. Mr. Wood? Uh Mr. Wiggins, it, it seems like that, yes, we haven't had a chance to review the dockets in entirety and there's new, new items added in such as the name of the school system. But 99% of what we were brought to this table in this meeting for beginning months ago, we're, we're coming to common terms with. The removing Rocky Mount from the funding formula is what was requested by the Nash County Commissioners. And we're agreeing to do that. We're also agreeing to take on our proportionate share of capital outlay, however it's to be spent by the school systems board. I believe that we're, we're so close to the edge of making this happen. Uh, yes, we got a few items that we need to discuss, but, but the overwhelming majority of concerns that were first brought to our board are being met here by mutual respect, I hope, of both parties. And I don't want us to get caught up in the weeds and the details now of, of a name of a school when, we, when the major issues were brought forth financial are being met. Mr. Chairman, if I may, um, the, the document, John, I'll show you was just finished up about an hour ago, Rosemary? How, how long ago? Oh, pardon me? We reviewed it with the chairman at 1 At, at 1 o'clock. So, so it ain't something we've been sitting on. So okay. I, I want you to know I, I that. Thank you at face value for that. In good faith. Uh, to me, uh, Mr. Wiggins, yes, sir. Uh, the only true difference here, with the exception of number seven 
uh, with uh, I respect your comment on that, is, is your first letter, and by the way, I still don't have your second letter. I did, well, I think it's on my computer as of about an hour ago. But I think the significant part between your first letter and your second letter is your first letter to me, I totally got out of that we were talking about a phase in it because the wording was utilized in that. I think that's what you cleared up in your second letter that I, I have seen on my phone, but it's difficult to hard, you know, hard to read that. And the difference is you wait the full five years before you do anything, whereas the first letter indicated to us that it was a phase in which we would have thought would have been a certain amount per year, which was similar to what we offered a long time ago in, in our uh, option number two. So that appears to be the biggest difference in what we got here. All the rest of this language, I think, is just for clarity. But certainly, your attorney needs to, and y'all need time to spend on that. And we, we, we understand that. Uh, uh, that's why it took us so long to get it together. And well, like I, I say, we finished it just about an hour ago. Well, for clarity, yes, sir. For clarity to be, mm -hmm. then. I still believe that it could be a language that's drafted by somebody from both boards, cool. from both boards, because this is, uh, and then at least if somebody that would have the authority to do that would bring some language to the boards that could be agreeable then we won't have to go back and forth in terms of the nitpick of the items that we disagree on. Right. Because there is some language that I see that, that, and in most instances, I'm speaking for the board, and those exceptions, they need to speak up. <laughs> okay, okay. If they are those exceptions, they need to speak up. But um, if, if there's a willingness on your board for somebody that that would that would speak for the board uh, to meet with our manager and either our manager and one of our commissioners and me and the commissioners to to at least get some language, some clarification on all of the language that our lawyers could agree on that we might could agree on, but but it, it when both when I come with something it's it's, it's it's our position, and when you come, but we need something that that's proposed from I think from some of us, from all of us, that we might could agree on. And I think we are close, okay. But uh, well, I really believe the thing to do is, is you know, th this is in response to the letter y'all sent us. It, it's a lot more detailed uh, and and gets it in the form that we think we've got to send it to the state to get one of the two bills you know, reworry. But at this point, to be sure, our two managers and maybe the two attorneys can, our, our manager knows exactly where his board stands. I'm sure yours does. Well, well why don't uh, we turn it over to the two managers and, and let them get the language like they want it? We I, didn't expect y'all to take this as we brought it today, but we had to come with something. Well, I, 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 uh, I, I would have no disagreement on the continuation of, of the managers and the and the lawyers are uh, with the Mr. Chair, Mr. Chairman, that, that's your decision, if you agree with that. Well, to get this thing moving, I think I'm at the point now where I'm tired of dealing with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And we need, well, maybe we and agree. if that's an agreement, uh, you all agree with that? And, and uh, well, this Mr. board agrees, always it, got the it's, time fine, issue, it's fine with me. We got the time issue that we're dealing with. Uh, I, I, so I understand we need that. to get it done in the next two or three days. Yeah, I understand that. And to be sure the managers can work that yeah, out. What about you, man? Huh? What about you, man? Uh, 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 Ms. Harris, what, what about Excuse what now? Well, well, I don't, I don't, I don't think I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't push them to do it right now, but uh, certainly they need to be, it needs to be done in the next two or three days. Well, to, re to respond to, to Mr. Outlaw's question to you, uh, you all understand this much better than we do. 
and our attorney, we need our attorney to review it and, and make some and, and, and recommend some things to us. And, and I don't think we can do that right now. I don't, there's no need for us sitting here to get in an adversarial position about nitpicking, nitpicking this particular agreement until we can get some language that we think we might can agree on. That's Mr. Chairman, Ms. I, Ms. I, Harris, excuse me, Ms. Harris. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Mr. Chairman, I noticed number five, I don't know how we can agree to that, that we can force the school systems not to file legal action when that's in the legislature. That's nothing that we can tell the school board. Um, and also, well, on that point, we realize y'all don't have a party to that. It's just something that we're going to ask for for our school system only. It wouldn't affect the Edgecombe County school system. But we're in such a unique situation with the fu future funding arrangement that we probably are going to end up with. We just desperately need this uh, if they don't do something else in Raleigh. Well, and okay. we feel like maybe we can get it done this way, but it's not going to affect y'all at all. It only will affect our side. Uh, those are those are the points that that needs to be addressed. Um, I think because of those are issue points, Mr. Wooten. Said, uh, Chairman Wiggins, sitting here listening, I think we we've, we've come to an agreement. I think we've got this done. I, I I'm excited to hear both parties today. We have, we have we have met the middle ground in which we've been looking for for months on end. Um, I do not think we need to set, go point by point before we've had an opportunity to, to, to dwell deep into it. But I would, uh, I would, I would make a motion that, that we authorize our manager and one commissioner to meet with Nash County's representatives to hash out the details. But I would like to call it a success. I think we have found common ground. Second. Uh, before I get a second uh, on that. Um, I, I think we need sufficient numbers of us. Don't make it one commission. We don't need necessarily a quorum. But I, I would like to amend my motion that we incorporate two commissioners, and we'd like two days to review. Did I hear a second on it? Second. Done. All in favor, let me know my votes are aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing none, we've established a committee. Okay, I got to, I got to get a, a approval for that from my board. Uh, I hear a motion that we have two commissioners, the county manager, and attorney to get with uh, Edgecombe County and pull the, the two together in one uh, agreed document. Mr. Chairman, I'd be willing to make the motion, but I'd like to have you to appoint the committee today, if you would. I need to do it before you make your motion. <laughs> okay. Sir, I'm sorry. Uh, you, you want me to appoint the two commissioners today? I think we should appoint the two commissioners today while we're in a public session. All right. I would second that motion. And, and of course, I'm thinking it would be the same to myself and you. Right. Okay. Uh, I will openly appoint the two commissioners and that will be uh, Commissioner Davis and myself, Fred Belfield. And I have a motion on the floor and it's been by uh, Commissioner Davis and seconded by Commissioner Outlaw. All of you have heard that motion? Any discussion? The motion, All in favor of the motion? The motion is that the representatives from each side will meet and clear this up within two days. So yeah. that would be Wednesday. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, all, all, in, all in favor of that motion, say aye. 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 
And opposes say no. Motion carried. One thing for clarification that there'd be three of us. Because that says the chair. Mine was. Well, we said two commissioners. What I'm saying, and, my, and mine manager. Was, and my, my intent, just for clarification, my intent was when he amended his motion, is that that could be the chair and two others. That was the intent of my motion. And I'm, it, that was so that it, so it, it wouldn't be four. That it would be a minimum, that's a, a maximum of three. That was my intent of what I carried out. That Mr. Wooden, that was, you that's why I asked him to amend his, his motion. Okay. He, he, did, I, he did amend his motion, but it was not to have three members, it was to have two mm. in addition. Well, the chair took that. I'm, that's why I'm clear. I took that as there would be three of us. That's the way I. That's, I can make another motion. I think that's we what I'll, again, we're one, getting into I, 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 One of us in Mexico, we take care of I'll substitute motion and, and, and. I want I wanted two more commissions. Okay. I wanted, I wanted two other than myself. And that was a court that did not require. Well, Mr. Chairman, I wanted just the managers, but. Uh, well, <laughs> well, I, I, I don't. It, that has not worked for us. I understand. As it relates to our managers okay. coming back, that has not worked. And well, we it, all know I have nothing to do with that. And that, that does not. Where well, the managers don't care the weight of the board, they don't really care the weight of the board. I said he doesn't care the weight of this board, and I think he's more comfortable with when we when we discuss something. At least he's got a board member that can carry the weight of the board. And there are. And I do want to just make one request of you, and that was um, Mr. Davis, he was saying that the school unit did not affect, um, I want you to think about that in terms of what you said was in this bill that did not affect us, and at least from a board standpoint, what you asking us to agree to. Number five. I want you to, I want, want, you, want your board to think about that. Of course, I want you to understand that, you know, that was the one thing that we couldn't get any agreement from y'all out of, which used to be number seven. And number seven on what? Uh, number seven on, on, on what we were working on before. You, you know, y'all wouldn't agree to any suits. You wouldn't agree to any way we phrased it. You wouldn't agree to it. So what we're trying to do here, Mr. Chairman, is get it out of your court and put it all in our court. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to, to, to think about it. Okay. Uh, we, I, I not, don't know what you mean by that. We're not. Let lawyers you, think about it. Yeah, let, we let, don't want to be involved. Right. You won't be. You won't be. Okay. It, it um, says we got a few cut some items that we're going to need to decide on how we're going to handle getting back with them on the things we disagree with or the language. It's going to be language issues. It's always going to be. I think I agree with what everybody else is saying that we have an agreement right here. We got two or three nitpicking things that we're going to have to deal with. And we just need to figure out how we're going to handle the logistics of the nitpicking issues on the language. So we, that's between the chairman of those. Well, I. Well, we saw all that in the middle and kiss and go home. Let, let, let me. Uh, I don't know about that. Let me, let me suggest this. When the two get together uh, with the committee, we've, we've developed an agreement that said we finished it up there at one o'clock. Uh, you all know, bring bring your plan. I, I'm just gonna be frank with you. This is saying things that you but it has no detail. It's very simple, Mr. Bill. Uh, well, the point here, is we, is we, the, let's don't get into the issues. The, the, point, the point is yeah. is bring your agreement with a little bit more detail than what you have. So, so we can uh, we can put it together and have one agreement that we both are comfortable with. We got it. We can do that. All right. Okay. Well, this should be a good starting point. And, and you know, in, in essence, the five years are built into this uh, because we're at the same year ending than you are. It, it's just a phase in rather than a wait two which is just very, very difficult to us to sell to our citizens who have been on us so long to resolve this. We're going to catch a lot of heat by this, but, you, you know, we're just going to have to deal with it, which we've come here today willing to do. Well, uh, 
heat it. We we already getting heat. Uh, I know. We all gonna get heat. And uh, and even with an agreement, I think uh, we can take the heat. Well, and we, I think that what we need to do. Leave me where I live in the county. I'm gonna have to. We're, That's we're, okay. I think what we ought to decide on is to try to come away with an agreement that both bulls not might not fully agree with. And that that would mean there might be something in an agreement that that we can agree to something that you might have here. You might be able to agree to something that we have here. Understood. And that that uh, that none of us can fully might fully get a bill that fully get a bill of everything we want. Well, you're not going to do that. Well, if we can agree, if we can agree on that, we're on our way. I think if I can elaborate on your words, Mr. Chairman, we're going to work to, this This is basically the agreement, but we just need to clean up the language. There's a couple of issues that might cause a little bit more conversation about, and we've already told you what that was, what the number one was, as far as I'm concerned. Well, there are going to be some issues here that cause conversation. But, uh, I don't see any reason in the world why we can't get this done. Well, uh, now, what did we decide? Just took them. Reverend Hines, you had a point. Uh, I, I was trying to get Mr. Wooten to do some. I, I'll do it myself. I offer a motion that the two committees meet and clear, the, have the clarity on that bill that's going to be proposed and have it prepared by 12 noon Thursday. Could, could we ask? I, I need it to happen on Wednesday simply because I've got obligation in, in Raleigh, nothing to do with this, could, on another board I'm on all day Thursday and Friday. Could we could I, we could we get the authority from each board that what we agree on will be a consensus? Mm -hmm. Would be what now? Yeah. That what the committee agrees on will be a consensus. If you had the right wing, they're going to have to come all back together. Well, they won't have to come back together. I agree with that. I mean, well, why don't, and, and, yeah, why don't, and, and, and I guess that's why, why don't we enlarge the committee to three people? In, including the chair. Yeah. Why don't we enlarge the committee? That's why. Why don't we enlarge the committee to three people? Well, we're going to go back to our original committee then. You know? Yeah. yeah. Well, we I have a committee problem already. With okay. Going back to our original committee. Why don't we enlarge the committee to three? And if each board would give, uh, uh, if if there is an agreement from those committees, then we have an agreement from the board. Yeah. I'm speaking. Well, right? I'm speaking to the Mr. I'm speaking to the board. I'm speaking no, to the board yeah. too. And I'm speaking to the chairman. And well, I'm speaking to yeah, the board. If, if we come up with an agreement, sure, I'm sure. But I uh, think that we need board. we need action. We need action from each individual board. To give that committee the authority to to make a to make a decision on a consensus. <coughs> on the final language. If he wants action on it, I, I'd make a motion that we we agree to whatever the committee that you are appointing or our old committee. Well, whatever. We, well, we're gonna use our old committee. Correct. Okay. Uh, well, rather than the three of us that's on there, first see if the four that's not on there have an issue with that. Then I'll make a motion. Let, let me. Does my board have an issue with that? Well, oh, 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 does my board? Anybody over here got an issue with that? Any uh, board members, Nash County board members, have any issue with the original committee that we had? All right. Fine. I think, um, if I may, the um, the committee can make a recommendation to the full board, but it's going to require a majority vote of all seven members to go I, forward. I would, I would, I would draw I agree that. With that. I would, that that makes more sense. Okay, <laughs> that makes more. I would draw that. Okay, that makes more sense. And the other point is. This committee that has been established previously by the board, um, I just want everybody to know that it's our attorney's opinion, it's also the School of Government's opinion, that a committee appointed by the board uh, is a public body and is subject to the open meetings law. So this committee will have to um, meet in public. 
I don't have a problem with that. And I accept your attorney's. Okay. I accept your attorney's. Now. You know that. <laughs> yeah. The next, the next thing is, is when we're gonna meet, get together, and we need to do it in the next two days. And what time? I'm available all day long Wednesday. I'm not involved, but I can be uh, make some arrangements about tomorrow after about say about two, one or two. If we could delay it until about two, it would be great for me. Mm. Uh, I'm I'm available tomorrow or Wednesday. Yeah, either way. I am good at two fifteen on Wednesday on Tuesday. Well, well, on, on Tuesday I can meet at two fifteen all any time Wednesday. Well, my special time is my preference on this is Wednesday because we really need. We got to get together in terms of, yeah. of uh, Let's do it tomorrow, tomorrow and then we'll have an extra day in case if we need it. We're going to win this. Let's do it Wednesday. What, what time? Give them a chance to get together. 10 o'clock, Wednesday. Okay. Where? He is all right at that news. I'm all right here. All right. You're just talking about what? 10 o'clock, Wednesday. Wednesday? Here. Here? If it's available. Mr. Okay. Felton is one of the commission. The commissioners, any, any other volunteer? You don't keep the same committee. You, you, you miss, you miss them all. That would be me. Me. That, that would be out there. Mr. Wiggins. Yes, sir. I'd like to just try to pull us all together once again and state publicly that it sounds like we have, and we have reached an agreement. We're just now working out the details. Is that correct? We are here to gather to get today, and we have an agreement made. Uh, I'm not going to say it. I can't say that. There's, there's, there's some items of discussion in here. Okay. There are some items of discussion. But we've uh, we've offered to back Rocky Mount out over a five-year period of time to be negotiated, and we've offered to take on the pro rata portion of the capital outlay, proportionate share of our student population. Two main issues. Right. Dave, we've agreed on that. We've agreed on those. We've agreed on those. All right. We, we so we have, have not agreed. We, we have not agreed to what they are asking. How we? Right. I just want the public to know that that looks like we've got a solution in hand. We're close. Yeah. I agree. Yes, and I believe we do too. And uh, and for goodness' sake, don't let anybody derail it. <laughs> because well, if if it's derailed again, I can tell you what you're gonna get. Well, please, Mr. Belfield, uh, uh, let's don't let anybody hear me now. Don't let anybody derail this because if you do, I, I can tell you what you're gonna get. Well, split well, by yeah, county yeah, line, yeah. Mr. Mr. Belfield. Uh, and I'm not trying to. Really, break, but, I'm but not too, trying to. I make a motion for adjournment. Right. <laughs> <laughs> your, your motion is out of order right now. I've got to answer this question. Uh, I've got to answer this question because uh, derailing Mr. Belfield can be considered anybody disagreeing, and a disagreement does not necessarily mean derailing, uh, because as all of us have derailed. Because we some things we have not agreed on. I'll accept your motion now, Mr. Wood. Yes, sir. I make a motion for adjournment. And that's knowing what's coming. <laughs> we have a, a totally different story. All in favor, let me know by going to side aye. All opposed. Aye. We in adjournment. Aye. We have a document. All right. Uh, we are going to. That's County Board. We're going to work out. Uh, we, we need the recess because uh, when we come back, uh, it has to be announced in the press. Be present. After we have our meeting at 10 o'clock on Wednesday, then we need to pick a time on Wednesday afternoon to bring our board back together to share the results of that meeting with them and get a consensus from our board. Okay. All right. Uh, I uh, entertain a motion for recess until Wednesday at 10 o'clock and 
uh, that we will bring our full board back together at four o'clock on Wednesday to share the committee's, uh, whatever we come up with agreement to our full board for their action. Is there, is there a second? Do you understand the motion? The motion is call call order. Call order. Okay. Understand the motion to be that we're recessing right until ten o'clock, at which time a committee will represent this board here Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, ten o'clock. And then. Um, further recessing until four o'clock on Wednesday when the full board will be present. Right. Okay. Four o'clock. Clerk, did you get that? Yes. Okay. You've heard that motion. Uh, all in favor of it? Say aye. Did you get a sign? Yeah. Who made it? I made the motion. Uh, Who second? Well, second to the motion. All in favor? All in favor of that motion? Let it be known by saying aye. Aye. And opposed, no. Motion carried. We'll see y'all at 10 o'clock Wednesday as a committee.